So I just finished taking photos for my thumbnail and I am really really tired. <laughs> so hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Raymond and for today's video, I am going to be sharing my super ambitious TBR for the month of December. So this is going to be the last TBR for 2020 and as you can see, I have like a different setup right now. So I have my Christmas tree here. So I want it to be somehow like you know Christmassy on my video. So with this video, I am really really struggling on what to read for the month of December because to be honest, I really wanted to read a lot of books for December. At the same time, I wanted to finish all of my TBR pile, have a great reading month for December, and I'm going to share to you guys all of the books that I am planning to read for the month of December and hopefully, hopefully that I can finish all of them. For the month of December, my TBR is really more of like a fantasy novel mainly because it's December, it's magical, whimsical. The Christmas vibe, I wanted to somehow, you know, feel it. Like, you know, I wanted to feel the Christmas vibe, magical and stuff like that. That is why I wanted to read fantasy novels. For the month of December, I am planning to read 11 books and I know it's an ambitious TBR but, you know, I wanted to really, really read all of this like <laughs> I wish I have like you know a lot of time to read this but I am really positive that I'm going to finish this so without further ado let's go and start with this video first book I have here is Tadan Let It Snow by John Green Maureen Johnson and Lauren Miracle so this is the book of the month for the Blu-ray book club and the live discussion for this one will be on Lucidi's channel on December 20, 2020, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So that is Sunday. So I'm pretty much excited about this because I've actually watched the movie adaptation on Netflix and I did enjoy it so much. So this I am really excited. So this is the first book on my TBR. So the second one on my list is Tadan Seriously by Madeline Miller and this is the book of the month for the Readables Book Club. So this is going to be amazing because this is somehow like a fantasy historical like vibe on this. So our live discussion for this one will be on Ray's channel and it will be on December 21, 2020, 7 o'clock in the evening. So I hope I can see you there because this book has really a good and positive review. So I believe I'm gonna like this and this is actually a mass market paperback so the fonts are really small. But anyway, I'm excited about this because it is a fantasy, ancient, with a little bit of, you know, historical. So the next one is actually actually a reread and it is the The Bone Witch by Rin Chupeco and this is actually I read this way back last August this is actually my first um, reading vlog for Wikaton so yeah I'm pretty much excited about this because I wanted to dive into the story because this book was super hyped and you know a lot of people like this book the time that I read this book I feel like I rushed things you know this is a fantasy novel and I feel like I rushed it too much so I wanted to read it again and I'm actually body reading this with one of the co-hosts of Readables Book Club which is Dre from Reading Slum Journey so we are actually reading this after I finish or reread this book The Bone which I am actually planning to read the second one which is a sequel which is Ta -da! The Heart Forger by Rin Chubeko and this is a sequel of The Bone Witch so I am planning to somehow binge read this novel and I don't actually have or own the third one and I can't actually find it so if you have like you find the third one the last book please please comment down below because I really wanted to buy the third one so yeah so this is the third and fourth book on my TBR so the next one is another reread and it is Ta -da! Gumiho Wicked Fox by Kacho and I'm actually body reading this with um, Charm. I will link her channel down below. So we are actually body reading this and the reason why I wanted to read this again mainly because I actually forgot some of the scenes in this book. All I know is this book is like a Korean mythology, Gomiho, Weekend Fox, Ninetale and you know there is like a romance in this novel. So just like The Bone Witch, I actually wanted to read the sequel of this novel which is Ta -da! The Kebi Vicious Spirits by Kacho also. So the reason why I wanted to read Gumiho Wicked Fox because I actually forgot some of the details of uh, Gumiho itself, the first book. I actually forgot a lot of important details. So yeah, and I'm actually happy that I'm body reading this with Charm and with the other um, readers, book readers out there, which is Jazz and um, Hazel. So thank you so much na nagkaroon on tayo ng body reading because I really wanted to read this Gumiho so much. I'm actually halfway of this book and I'm actually enjoying it. I just realized right now that reading books for me is so much fun. Like, you know, reading the book for the first time is good. 
but it's great but when you read it in the second time it's really more interesting and it's more enjoyable if you're doubting with you know rereading books um, it's really fun it's really nice it's really interesting entertaining and you know Gumiho Week the Box I'm currently reading it right now and I'm actually enjoying it more than the time that I first read it so yeah, this is going to be on my December TBR. So, speaking of reread, I am actually going to reread the third, fourth, and the novella of The Lunar Chronicles by Marisa Meyer. So, if you've seen my previous video with The Lunar Chronicles Part 1, so I'm actually going to have a reading vlog for this so you can guys check it out. This is one of the greatest um, series um, sci-fi fantasy novel that I've read when I was young and now I'm living it. Last reread is I'm planning to read The Dun and Amber in the Ashes by Sabah Hattori. So this is the first book in the An Ember in the Ashes series because the last book, the fourth one, I actually forgot the title but I'm going to share it here. So this is actually the first book in the series and I actually read it I think way back 2017. So I did enjoy it and I I am actually planning to read it again because now I can binge read the whole series because the fourth book just came out. So yeah, um, this is going to be a part of my TBR for December. So the next one on my TBR is ta -da! The Mortal Instruments Book 6, City of Heavenly Fire. So yes, I am going to finish this because it's the end of the year. So I wanted to finish this before the year ends because this has been on my TBR for so long. I think July was the last time I actually um, include this on my TBR. So yeah, um, this is actually the last book of the Mortal Instruments series. And again, I'm going to mention Team Malek, my favorite OTP of all time, and I wanted to know what will happen to these characters, all of the characters of this book. <sighs> this is the last book in the TMI series, and I'm pretty much excited about it. I'm actually currently reading it right now. I'm on page 75 of this book, so I am loving it so far. I love, you know, the introduction with the characters again, and living... <sighs> yeah. So this includes on my December TBR. So the last book on my December TBR is ta -da! The Invisible Life of Adi LaRue by V. Eh? <laughs> the Invisible Life of Adi LaRue by V. <laughs> so the last book on my December TBR is ta -da! The Invisible Life of Adi LaRue by V.E. Schwab. And and I really am excited about this because there is a lot of people in the booktube community or in the book community as a whole that really did enjoy this book. Like I've seen a lot of reading vlogs and I really wanted to read this so much. So maybe I'm going to have a reading vlog on this. So I don't know but you know it's a surprise. But anyway I am really much excited about this because is this actually my first V.E. Schwab, to be honest? Like, a lot of people are really fans of V.E. Schwab. I'm pretty much excited about this, and if I enjoy this, for sure, I am going to read all of her other works. So, yeah. So, these are the books that I'm planning to read for the month of December. So, hindi siya kasha sa frame, but anyway, thank you for watching. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanted to see more about my book, click subscribe. And I will see you on my next video. Bye! Oh, para ako nag-workout. <laughs>